do you guys do this now full time or are you still teaching and doing um, financial planning? And if so, when did you know it was time to leave? When did you know that, okay, we can do this and it will support our lifestyle. It's not like we're taking a step back, uh, you know, to support our families because somebody out there is, they're juggling between their, their nine to five and their business. And they don't know when to jump ship. So can you speak to if you guys are still working full-time jobs or is this your full-time job? And when did you know it was time to leave? Yeah, so I, I mean, I always encourage people who have a nine to five. Like that was my whole life. Uh, this is the, actually the first year that I'm not teaching in a school district, um, obviously because of earning your leisure. But my nine, 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 nine to five provided me the opportunity to be doing this. And so like I would go to work all day and I would, I would allocate time when I came home, but I would allocate time before school too to make sure that we had everything that we needed for earning leisure. Um, and so when I knew I, it was time to go, obviously I had to look at where I was gonna have the greatest impact. And so in phys ed, I was like, I used to ask people like, yo, what's the ceiling for a phys ed teacher, right? Like you get to become the athletic director, at, you know? And I was like, that's cool, but that's not for me. Like I know that there's greater impact, especially when I saw the impact that we were doing in the summer. And so I was like, all right, cool. I can help a kid learn his motor skills or I can help a kid's family for a generation. And I was like, look, I gotta go where the greatest impact was. And so once I knew that that was the road, I was like, okay, well now financially, how do I do it? And so my, my scale was like, all right, I gotta take down my monthly expenses. How much am I making as a teacher? If I could double that, then I know I could walk away. And so Shadi's been killing me for the past, I don't, I'm gonna give you five years, how much, maybe longer than that. He's like, yo, I'm gonna get you out of the school district, bro. You got it now, you're leaving it. Cause him and Mike are entrepreneurs. And um, you know, like I would, I'd be watching them text back and forth on my phone as I'm teaching. I'm like, I can't answer cause I got 50 kindergartners in front of me. <laughs> and so like, I'm just like, oh man, it, like it'd be exciting news. And I'm just like, oh, damn, this is crazy. <laughs> um, and so I was like, all right, well with the pandemic going on and obviously education looking a lot different in September, it was like, you know what, why juggle both when I can go to where the greatest impact is? And so I say I'm not teaching in the school district because I'm not, but I am still educating through our own platform. And there's nothing better and more gratifying than doing something that you created and doing it for a community that needs you so much. You know what I mean? 100 percent. And Rashad, I think I know the answer to it. <laughs> yeah, you, you, this is full time for you. Yeah, it's full time. I mean, I still have my financial planning. Because the good thing with that is, is that it, I, I can maneuver it on my own time. Um, I just put systems in place where I'm not actually devoting that much of my time towards that anymore. Um, but uh, yeah, I, I'm still licensed as an advisor. I still have that going. Um, but yeah, this definitely you know takes up the majority of my time these days for sure. What's up guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love.